I have to fight Spain and their subjects that have over half a million troops, and then I have to fight Great Britain who's allied to the Ottomans, and they also have about a half a million troops. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge. The challenge will play every nation you form 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order of course. And this week ladies and gentlemen we're back with a nation that I've been waiting so much to play ever since we started uh, A to Z as the nation of Oman. Oman is a nation located in the Arabian Peninsula and in EU4 it's fairly obscure and rarely successful starting off as a body right here and with this 142 guy but make no mistake Oman sort of after EU first time frame was one of the most successful maritime empires over in the Indian Ocean. Omani ideas are absolutely Absolutely insane for naval and trade focused gameplay with literally all of the ideas focusing on our navy and trade starting off with plus 15% morale of navies and minus 20% naval maintenance and finishing off with plus 33% blockade efficiency and in the meantime we have plus 33% trade steering minus 10% shipbuilding time plus 10% national sailors and plus 2 tolerance of heathens actually that tolerance of heathens is the only one that's not naval or trade focused then we got plus 10% trade efficiency minus 15% percent light ship cost and minus five percent sailor maintenance plus one naval leader maneuver and plus one merchant which makes omani ideas absolutely insane for naval and trade focused gameplay so with so few nations focusing on stuff like that and us never focusing on stuff like that obviously the question remains but what do we do as oman well oman like i said had a very successful uh, maritime empire over here controlling you know this portion of arabia and uh, uh some portions of persia right here and then all of this right here along the east Eastern coast of Africa. So for our challenge today, we are not only going to have to recreate the Omani Empire, but make it even more powerful by actually taking one of the rarest decisions in the game that you can ever take, confirm Thalassocracy. So as Oman today, we're going to have to conquer the entirety of Hormuz, the entirety of the Gulf of Aden, the entirety of Zanzibar, the entirety of Gujarat, and the entirety of Coromandel, just so we can become the strongest train power in all of those trade nodes and confirm Thalassocracy. A very difficult and very long challenge, so grab some snacks and sit back and let's jump in as Oman and become a Thalassocracy. All right, all right, here we are as Oman, obviously a very, very difficult start, even though we start off with Hurzan Hormuz right here, because we're trapped between Hormuz and the uh, Yaz. Now, if we can get lucky here that Hormuz doesn't have any allies December 11th, I think I'm going to go ahead and declare immediately. But in the meantime, let's denounce sec practices. Like I said, we are a body. Uh, that's going to be a major problem for us, man. See, I already thought of idea groups that we need to take right at the start uh, in order to make this playthrough successful. And I was already thinking, you know, quality trade and maritime because we do have to have one of maritime and naval for that decision but i might need religious or humanist here as well man oh yeah i'm gonna have to think about this long and hard boys for sure but uh yeah let's go ahead and get started by using a government interaction or actually no let's not do that let's do the estate setup and see where we go from there all right so estate stuff done for now i guess let's not set any rivals are we making money we are making a little bit so i am just gonna hire a well, I was hoping for a morale or discipline guy, but in that case, uh, well, I was hoping for an influence or not influence, improve relations or diplomat guy, but we don't have any of those guys, man. Yeah, let's just get this manpower guy. Our force limit is eight. We probably start off with Cav. I'm actually going to keep this Cav, man, and uh, let's go ahead and hire the free company. I got a claim on this from an, uh, from an estate agenda. Let's start spying on Yaz. Are we able to ally anyone? No, we're not able to ally anyone. I'm going to try and go for the Mamluks or the Ottomans here. I think it is possible if we flip them friendly. All right, let's do that. Shoot, I actually shouldn't have sent these guys. Okay, so it is December 12th. Hormuz has gotten an ally. It's just Naj, so I do think we have to declare. And uh, we actually do have some semi-unique missions right here. I guess uh, yeah. manpower generals. Sure, we'll get that mission. Uh, that too. We'll get all of these. And uh, too bad Oman didn't get updated in King of Kings, man. But I do think they will get uh, updated eventually, so... Yeah, let me go ahead and rival for Moose and uh, give our ruler milk a man, maybe? Yeah, there we go. What about this? Do we get this now? No, the manpower is lacking. Okay, yeah, let's declare on for Moose, man. Uh, reconquest for whatever, for musket. Okay, so this war is pretty much done. Obviously, there's no way for me to cross to Hormuz, which means I can't actually take that province itself. So we are going to have to peace out for this. Let's uh, humiliate these guys if we can. We can't, huh? Hmm. 
yeah it's gonna be too much waiting for me to do that so i'm just gonna take some money there we go the war with homus is done and uh we've grown by quite a lot yaz has allied the timurids so we're not fighting them uh Dawas here i just spied on them i still got the spine at work excellent uh we can fight them and conquer yaz like that perfect i did get quite a bit of money actually from hormuz wow um let's do this and then this uh i think i'll declare as soon as i core this up yeah oh dope rural marriage with the ottomans you know what? Actually, I'm going to declare immediately, man. I don't want to stay over Force Limit for so long. I am over Force Limit, by the way. Uh, yeah. But, uh, obviously, immediately we need to start building up our navy, man. Uh, you know, everything that we're going to conquer is going to be coastal. I don't anticipate any battles in, um, you know, in open seas and stuff like that. So, yeah. We do need galleys, lights, and transports. Or do we need transports? Because if I'm here, I'd have to walk like this there we do need transports but yeah i'm gonna get started with uh with galleys i don't have sailors anymore. oh i forgot man why am i fighting dawas here uh i don't know if i mentioned this but a limitation is gonna be only conquering in hormuz gulf of Aden, zanzibar gujarat and coromandel nothing outside of that so the dawas here isn't the boss or should be noted. i'll vassalize them okay dope uh let's separate peaceful annex yaz and now we'll make dawas here our uh, vassal and take all their money sweet i think they'll be pretty I didn't notice this frick. I can beat Mikolf, but Hasa has a level 3 fort, man. Actually, their army sizes suck. What do we do with them? They're outside of, uh, Hormuz. Actually, I do need Mikolf provinces. All right, so I beat up Hasa. I am going to make them my vassal and, uh, force religion on them. I guess they'd accept that. Now let's take all their money, too. Uh, there we go. Okay, two vassals now, even though now they're both disloyal. No worries. Um, the Rasids came in as well. I do need their provinces, too, man. We really gotta be aggressive here at the start, boys. Okay, war is done. Thanks to my boy Hasa, who did turn out to, um, you know, be loyal. It's easy to make them loyal. Uh, now I'm gonna take this. I can't full annex both of these guys. Like I said, we have to be really aggressive here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all of this except for this. For myself, by the way. Uh, yeah, let me... How does that always go over, man? Perfect. Uh, conquest in the Gulf of Aden as well. Another route of expansion. Yemen, Aden, the Rasids. Yeah, everything north of here. Uh, Alexandria, we don't need. But more importantly... <laughs> we're good now we're not ever gonna have to fight the ottomans man we're never gonna you know clash with them mission two: expand oman so i'm working out the idea group picks here man because we we really have to do something about this man we i, I kind of don't want to flip to sunni honestly and it's still even if we flip to sunni man there are so many other provinces we need to conquer like fetishist shia ebadi hindi theravada as well this goal is too grand man i should have chosen something else but i'm probably gonna be going uh quality army and navy obviously quality religious and then naval trade or quality religious naval maritime when you think about it we need influence too because we're gonna have so many subjects this campaign man got tech four in every category might as well start deving somewhere cheapest province is uh musket and our capital nizwa is it's actually quite a bit more expensive i don't have the money to bump it up to a level two center of trade though do i actually nah 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 let's just dev regularly almost making money here let's just mothball forts and lower army maintenance nice Tier 2 cover forum, we're a feudal theocracy, by the way, missionary, missionary strength, uh, Donuts of the True Faith, GovCap, blah, blah, blah. Do we want to become an Eastern Plutocracy, man? Even more trading stuff. Icta is pretty good too, shoot, for the vassals. I guess we could swap this at any time, but for now, there's uh, nothing really to take here except uh, strength and noble privileges. Man, I'm not looking forward to fighting these huge-ass Timurids. Look, man, they're involved in literally everything I want to conquer. They're allied to Gujarat. I need to fight them. They're warning uh, my boy Ajam. They're allied to Hormuz. They're allied to Mahra. Who can I fight here? Aden? Medina, Mahra, or Sengal. Yemen? Oh, it's so hard playing here. Maybe I just no CB Momba. Mal pa well, there's the Renaissance dev. So what I think I'm going to do here is declare an Aden. Me and my boys can take down uh, them, Medina, Mahra, and... Well, now Warsangali, they weren't allied to Warsangali. Yeah, there's no one easy to fight, man. Aden is literally the easiest. I might uh, full annex Mahra in this war as well. I gotta get around that Timurid alliance somehow. While we're doing this war, first idea group time, I am gonna open up with quality. What an annoying war, man. Damn, it took six years. Even I had to get the free company way over force limit. Let's separate piece Mahra and full annex them. There we go, that's very nice. 
Uh, yeah, that's all Gulf of Aden. Now, the thing is, Hadramut also declared on Aden, man. While I did manage to siege down their capital, uh, Hadramut siege down everything else, which means I don't have a connection to this. So, the only thing that's really left to do, which I actually didn't want to do right here, is make uh, Aden my vassal. Yeah, sure, let's force a legend, take all their money. And uh, now I'm going to be in defensive war with Hadramut, which sure is nice, but I didn't want a third vassal, man. Yeah, let's just full annex Hadramut in that case. Uh, we control Dofar, apparently. That's actually really nice. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Ottomans are calling me into this. Frick. Okay, there is some stuff I want here, man. Maybe if I participate enough, they'll give it to me. It's just these two provinces right here and these in Yemen. Sure, I'll accept. Frick it, we're already here. Let's hope the Mamluks don't destroy us. Well, we're done with Hadramut right here, just as the Mamluks are preparing to walk in and absolutely wipe me out. I actually won. <laughs> I actually won. Why are you all here? Why? Ottomans, help. So just as I got beat up, uh, the Ottomans pieced out Yemen and actually gave me two provinces, which is uh, very nice. Thank you, Ottomans. Couldn't have done it like a month earlier. Second idea group time while I'm working on improving my nation and seeing who I can fight. I'm really on the fence now about religious, man, because, you know, we are converting away. It's pretty slow, but... I don't know. Are we going to get to play to admin 14 is my question. We're already at six, man. This this campaign is going to take a while, boys. We're definitely going to get four idea groups. So, yeah, I uh, I am going to go religious for my second one, man. Yeah, why not? So, yeah, quality religious. What did I say? Naval trade, right? Quality religious, naval trade. You know, quite a bit of time has passed since we vassalized Aden. I am going to give these guys the integration policy. There it is. And let's go ahead and annex Aden. What a wonderful alliance block I have to fight. <laughs> Galley combat. Pier 3 cover form time as well. Uh, let's see. Probably representatives of the crown since we're going to have so many um, so many subjects. Yeah. Aden annexed. Sweet, man. All this time I'm waiting to fight Yemen. Meanwhile, they've re-allied the Mamluks. I got no one I can fight. Oh, wait. I can fight more Sengali. No, 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 no. Why are you doing this, Ottomans? They really declined and I'm going to join them cool okay war is done the ottomans won obviously what i think i'm gonna do is make hasa and dawasir my marches man because i'm never gonna annex them either way right and now i can also tell them to divert trade so yeah there we go either way let's fight worse no you have to be kidding me how do you know how do you know okay a doll then a doll yeah sure okay let's fight a doll Okay, these guys have unconditionally surrendered. I'm gonna full annex Yemen along with uh, Adal, and we're gonna fight Ethiopia next. Stop it. <laughs> Actually, stop it, please. I gotta get breakfast before this. All right, I'm back, and I've set a bunch of provinces of interest. Okay, war is done. I didn't really do anything. I just unseized myself. Obviously, I, uh, I didn't get anything. And now I have a truce with guys I wanted to fight. <laughs> Thank you, Ottomans. You guys are wonderful. Either way, we gotta continue our growth, man. I'm gonna declare on Ethiopia. Super annoying war, as all wars have been so far, but Ethiopia will finally give me what I want, and this is the only thing I want. All their possessions in the Gulf of Aden. Trade note. There's war apps, there's money. We're done. Helping out the Ottomans in some stupid war, and I just became a kingdom. Uh, a great imamate. I'm sort of stacked on points right now, so I do have to develop colonialism. The cheapest province is Zabid. Which one is that? Um, anything closer to our capital? Yeah, Kwasim. Okay. Yeah, let's do this one. Pure 5 cover form time, strengthen the ulama. Oh yeah, missionary strength, nice. Truce with the Mamluks is up, and I finally gotta take control of things, man. Hormuz, Adruan, and Warsangali are all in these wars. Uh, let's not call belligerent. Oh wait, the Timurids won't come in. And neither will Ajam, because... Let's declare for Swakin. There we go. Major war, major war. Who do we knock out first here? Malindi and Agadin. Okay, so let's focus here. You know what? I'm also gonna use all my uh, all my powers for this. Uh, there we go. Let's get the free company and the grand company up. And we're done. This is what happens when I get angry. 100% full siege on the Mamluks, Hormuz, Warsangali, and Adran. No troops, no boats, high war exhaustion. Okay, let's go ahead and separate peace for moves right here first. There we go. That's super peace. There's for moves for me. Goodbye. Now we're going to separate peace for Sangali. There we go. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to go ahead and separate peace Ajuran right here. Can we take everything from them? No, we can't. We'll be missing one province. So I'll get these two uh, later. Uh, but that's everything in the in that trade note. Perfect. Let's get some money as well. How do I click this to not make it go over 100? Uh, 
Oh, shift right click. Okay, thank you very much, Ajuran. And there's a piece out on the Mamluks. Give me those two provinces. I hate these guys, so let's uh, let's give a bunch of stuff to the Ottomans as well, man. My Ottoman boys will like me uh, quite a lot. Let's get war ups from them as well. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna give even more stuff to the Ottomans. Frick it, dog. Thank you. Nice. All right, we're done concerning ourselves with uh, the Mamluks. The Thalassocracy decision has finally popped up. We need to have naval and maritime, of course, and be the strongest trade power in one of the following. And the following that we're picking is, uh, where is it? Zanzibar. Yeah, pretty much all of these right here that I mentioned uh, right at the start. Hormuz, Gulf of Aden, Zanzibar, Gujarat, and Coromandel. So we're pretty much done with everything here, I guess. <laughs> we need to push into the Timurids hard. <laughs> we're not even halfway, man. We're not even halfway, Jesus. Why did I choose this goal? Now that we have a very nice missionary strength and we can uh, convert stuff easily, I think now is the time to swap to Eastern Plutocracy to, you know, further reinforce this whole trading naval uh, empire thing. So we get a merchant. <laughs> pretty much that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> The Ottomans are already willing to help out versus the Timurids, so we really gotta work on that. Finally making big bucks. Finally, man. It took so long. So this is actually a great time to declare. The Timurids are kind of busy with Delhi, man. Uh, Ottomans and Ajam are willing to come in. We have, like, triple the amount of troops that they have. Should be easy. Should be easy, theoretically. <laughs> I'm gonna start my Golden Era now as well. Finally wrapped up religious. Now my dude's a scholar. <laughs> Wait, who called me into something? Ah, Kuyunlu, why would you declare on... Oh, okay, they're tiny. Never mind. The war is going great, by the way. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the Timurids here. I can't take everything that they have in the Hormuz trade node uh, because uh, Ajam occupied this, but also because I can't literally <laughs> take those provinces. So, yeah, I'm taking everything that I can. Uh, like this, I border Sin, so I can start expanding into Gujarat as well. And then we'll fight the Timurids later again for some additional provinces. So... Yeah, that's the war with them done. A separate piece of Gujarat made them break the alliance with the Timurids. Okay, nice growth. Still less than halfway there. I can't believe this. We're less than halfway there. Now. At least we're making money now. At least now with this new CB that we have, we have a less aggressive expansion and we don't have to spy on anyone anymore because we don't get claims at all from our mission. Next idea group time. I really don't want to have to take naval and maritime here. <laughs> I especially want maritime more because of the force limit. I think it's in maritime. Yeah, it is in maritime, so... I really want trade though, so yeah, naval. Haven't decreased autonomy in a very, very long time. Let's see how much more money we make uh, after I do this, man. Wow, there are so many provinces to do it in. We're gonna be fighting so many rebels. Jesus Christ, can I do it literally everywhere? What the frick? Didn't change too much, honestly. <laughs> Let's declare on Ajuran for just this one province. I'm gonna separate piece full annex Melindi here. Apparently, we've created a grand fleet, and we've dominated trade. We're done with Ajuran. The only province we need is this one, but because I hate them so much, I'm gonna vassalize. Now is not the time for chilling. Let's go ahead and declare Mombasa and co-belligerent Kilwa. Where's my main fleet? War with these two guys is done, and the max that I can take is this. We've conquered Mombasa. And Zanzibar. Tier 5, Gover form time. Taking something naval here would actually be good. Morale, Navy tradition, decay, ship cost. Okay, naval professionalism is good. Uh, sailors, Marines. Yeah, I don't really care about Marines. So it's those two, huh? Yeah, let's go naval professionalism, man. This is going to be very useful for finishing off the game. Worst score cost versus other religions. Cool thing is, now we have a gold mine too. We'll get another one as well. Okay, so latest development. Let's go ahead and declare on the Timurids. Good thing is AQ won't come in either, which is my ally. We'll declare with this, and we'll call in the Ottomans and Ajam. And in this war, I'll also finish off Kilwa's provinces here and uh, send too. So, can we kill and anyone? No. There we go. Okay, Ottomans, Ajam, go take care of them, please. So, Kilwa will give me what I want. Perfect. Okay, we're done fighting them. Uh, we do need to fight all of Betsy, Mitsuraka, and Mahafali here for this. And I know there are uncolonized provinces in Zanzibar and in Coromandel, boys, but, well, they're... No. Of course. And the war with the Timurids is done. We're taking everything in the Hormuz trade node along with their one province in Gujarat and full annexing Sindh. And that's my war with them as well. Done. Okay, all of Hormuz is on lock, right? Let's check. Yeah, I got all of Hormuz. I got all of the Gulf of Aden. For Zanzibar, I need to fight Betsimus Raka Mahapali in Spain. And then for Gujarat and Coromandel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, nice. Okay, these guys are easy. And these guys are annoying. 
Next time is Oman, the goal is going to be to get annexed by the Timurids. <clears throat> Come to think of it, we haven't been playing that long. It's only been 100 years and, uh, well, I've been playing for like 3 hours and 10 minutes, exactly. That is actually quite long. Yeah, I need to significantly buff up before I fight a uh, Gujarat, man. I wonder if I can ally any of these guys up here that would help me. They're all allied to Gujarat, though. I can ally Vig. Would their help take these two boys down? Sure. He's just spawning institution after institution after institution, man. Gonna have to dev this stuff in pate. Well, at least that's literally the cheapest type of province, man. Cloth producing center of trade farmland. <laughs> I've kind of just been chilling, working on the economy, but uh, let's go conquer Madagascar. I'm helping out the Ottomans in some stupid war, bro. Look at this stack. <laughs> Let's separate piece Mahafali. And a uh, full annex Betsy Mr. Rock. I'm getting tired of this game, man. I really... You, you boys know I don't like blobbing out this much. It's it's really not fun. Now, this is what I do literally after every war, man. Um, Tier 6? Sure. Dude, the Rogers League war was happening, man. Uh, Bohemia the Emperor won, but uh, the game was running so slow due to that. What's going on in Europe, by the way? Nothing. Uh, fourth idea group time. Trade, finally. Dude, 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 dude. Bengal and Delhi would not help Gujarat. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. Nah, dude. Freak Vig, actually. By the way, I clicked on Gujarat to complain about how I'm, you know, trying to gather the courage to fight them, but uh, that... That's what I noticed, that their boys wouldn't help them, man. War with Gujarat is done, and I'm gonna be taking all of these border provinces in the Gujarat trade node, just so I know in my later war that this is what I need to eat up from them, and that way no one else can fight them either. So there we go, first war versus Gujarat done. We just gotta, wait, do we gotta fight Bahmanis? We actually don't gotta fight, ah, we do for this one province right here, okay, so. We can probably, oh, these guys again. Yeah, but this'll be easy, man, just for one province. Oh, they got more over here, actually, hmm. Oh, but that's about it for today, I think, man. Uh, I got other stuff to do. I'll be continuing this tomorrow. Same video for you guys, though. Different days for me. I want a burger. All right, so that last clip was Friday. Today is Monday. Got a haircut. Reorganized my entire office. And uh, it's time to continue the video. It's already super, super long. So uh, you might see me uh, skip a few things here and there. But yeah, let me see where we're at and uh, I'll continue. Yeah, so I think we fight Bahmanis next. So I'm helping out the Ottomans and some stupid stuff versus the Mamluks over here. No big deal. That's not a difficult war. Let's go ahead and declare on Bahmanis cleansing uh, of heresy, call an Akuyun Luen Vig and uh, fight them. We don't need that much provinces from them. Well, wars are super quick when you bomb every fort, dude. That took me like a year uh, to white piece the Timurids and uh, to get Bahmanis to a 99%. Just beat them in a couple of battles, siege down a couple of forts, and that's it. But uh, what we want from them is, I guess, all of this right here along with Goa. And I think that's it. Yeah, man, that's it. I'm also going to take war reps and all of their money. And boom, there we go. We're done. Just like that. Uh, at this point, I am going to release Andra from these provinces. That's excellent. So I don't have to core these up. They're far away anyway. And they have cores on Vig. Perfect. Uh, yeah, it's only Gujarat and Vig left to fight realistically. I think I'll keep these guys around until my truce with Gujarat is up. Fight Gujarat, then fight Vig. And uh, yeah, keep fighting Vig and Kote. And then Spain. Of course I have to fight the number one great power in the world that has Austria and Portugal as junior partners and five colonial subjects. Someone help me. That's a wrap on trade. Let's get some nice policies. Well, truce with Gujarat is up. Let's declare on them again. No one will help me, but uh, I really don't need anyone's help. I'm just bombing every port, man. Okay, so I'm in this war. I can take this mission, Imperial Conquest. I can call in Akuyunlu, sure. And I can become an empire. Excellent. Really? So we're pretty much done here. I wonder if I can take everything I need, man. I don't think so. There are just so many provinces. Yeah, no way. Okay, so I'll take this now and I guess the rest of this later. Okay, that's my second war with Gujarat. Done. We need one more with them. I don't need Vija's alliance. Any we're not even... Actually, I don't know when that happened, but... uh. Okay, yeah, let's chill, pour stuff up, and um, yeah. we'll see when we fight Vig. We'll need like, man, three or four wars with them, sure. Yeah, three. All right, so I'm in this Ottoman war versus Ethiopia. No big deal, though, since it is time to declare on Vig right here. Uh, Yeah, holy war show superiority. Wait, what did I declare? What's the difference? Uh, I guess because they're a completely different um, religious group. Okay, uh, show superiority, yeah, real uh, holy war. Oh, Delhi actually didn't join, wow. Where did Andros' cores go? 
while we're in this war, we can actually take the decision to confirm with Alessocracy, man, uh, because we have major control over Coromandel as well. Uh, that is one of our goals right there about to be accomplished. An additional merchant, some boat stuff, some navy stuff, a diplotech discount, and uh, 50 government reform progress along with the Thalassocracy government reform. One of the, uh, one of the rarest reforms in the game. Where is it actually? Ah, there it is. It's already, uh, it's all the way at tier 8. Can establish trade protectorates. I actually don't know what a trade protectorate is. I'm going to be honest. I've never heard about it. But uh, additionally, global trade power, naval force limit, uh, trade company investment discount, center of trade upgrade cost. Okay, tier 8 government reform. I like that. Let's go with meritocratic here. And we're done here. Okay, I'm going to take this as, since uh, it is in Coromandel. And then let's just, uh, let's just chip away at their coastline. I'm actually going to take this right here and this as well, since they're kind of annoying provinces to take. And uh, I guess this is going to be it for our first war, man. Uh, no coalition. Yeah, okay. We are above 100 over extension, but I am going to give uh, this one province to uh, Andra right here. There we go. That one. And uh, now we can go ahead and uh, force stuff. Built up a massive navy because I because I got to fight Spain. <laughs> I hate my life. Thing is, how do I declare on Spain, though? I can do a trade dispute, but you can't actually take provinces with this. I need to get a claim on this somehow. I just can't see it. Stole maps of Malaya from Spain, and now I can see the province of Aceite right here, and I can spy on it thanks to my uh, Maldives province over here. So yeah, there we go. Perfect. Well, it's been in here at Austria. They'd... Okay, truce with Gujarat is up. Let's go ahead and fight them and finish them off. Ottomans just broke their alliance with me, man. A faithful 170-ish year alliance over here. We gained a pretty big border, so now they don't like me anymore. It is what it is. That actually kind of sucks, though. Oh, I was counting on their help versus Spain. I don't think I can improve with them enough to ally them again. I think we're done with Gujarat. There we go. There's the entirety of that trade node under our control as well. Perfect, man. I think I got pretty accurate borders right here. Yeah, we just need to fight Vit. Oh. I didn't notice this. All right, Bahmani's in a vid a couple of times in Kote in Spain. And well, shoot, I can already fight Kote. And that's a really good air, man. That sucks. <laughs> Done with Kote, by the way. Full annexation, obviously. Truce with Vid is gonna be up in three years. Okay, Truce with Vid is up. Let's not wait any longer. Oh, uh, uh, Delhi, they didn't join, it. dude. It was just green a month ago. I swear they were. They are still guaranteeing Vid, but I don't think they'll join. Excellent. And we're done right here as well. Let me just take more coastal provinces to connect myself to my subject. And then we can do... I actually kind of want to do something to make Bahmanis, you know, to not fight them. But I actually might as well do something like this to, you know, not have to walk around so much. Let's annex Andra. Well, this worked. There we go. There's help versus Spain, right? Yeah. Oh, this is good for me, actually, that Bahmanis are fighting Vig. They did declare, right? Yeah, they did. So if they take this, I can just take it from them. Are you kidding me, man? How are freaking Cocos Islands and Christmas Island in Coromandel as well? I swear, this is the weirdest trade node. You got this over here, this down here, these two apparently. So I do need everything in these trade nodes that is colonized, man. So I have to take this province. Oh, I love it. I actually have to fight Great Britain, who's allied to the Ottomans. Boys, I'm this close to quitting, man. I'm actually this close to quitting. This is not doable. This is simply not doable. I mean, of course it's doable. I just I just don't have the willpower nor the strength to do it. I should have gone exploration, man. Oh, great. Now I got to fight Kilwa again, too. Y'all remember those couple of patches where the Pope colonized? <laughs> At least there's one positive thing. Kilwa will accept a threatened war for this. I actually don't believe it, but it's our fifth idea group time. I'm going to go quantity here. I have to fight Spain and their subjects that have over half a million troops, and then I have to fight Great Britain, who's allied to the Ottomans, and they also have about a half a million troops. Either way, I'm gonna fight Bahmanis now. Okay, Bahmanis will accept, and we're done with this war as well. I did notice something during this war, man. I actually lost a couple of battles to Bahmanis here, even though they sucked. They didn't have troops, no manpower, no nothing. And they really only got offensive in Aristo, which, you know, actually, they got lots of calf combat modifiers here, so maybe that was the problem, but, uh... Oof, it's not looking too good, man. It's not looking too good for these wars. I'm not really worried about the Spain War, and I really wasn't. It's just annoying, because we won't really encounter them, right? And I thought the Ottomans would go beat them up when I was allied, and it'll just be, like, some naval battles here. Maybe, right? I just need to siege down this. But the Britain War, man, they're, they're, they're allied to the Ottomans that I have a pretty big border with, and the Ottomans are freaking massive. The most annoying feature in EU4, when someone sows discontent. 
Okay, so after I fight Vig, it's uh, these provinces here from Spain. So it's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, I think. And then two provinces from Great Britain. Finally, another sort of goal thingy. Uh, our tier eight government reform, the Thalassocracy. One of the rarest ones in the game. Built a flagship as well. It's time to finish off Vig. And we're done. That's not a full annexation. They got stuff up here, but those things I'm not interested in. Let's core these up and fight Spain. It's just these fleet numbers, they're insane. I mean, really, what are we waiting for, man? Let's just declare for this that I don't have a claim on. Okay, now I do, actually. No, no, I don't. It's my spine over. Okay, now I have a claim. So what are we waiting for, realistically? There's a conquest, about half a million troops, and more than 1.3 million manpower, and boom, there's the declaration. And uh, they have, well, they have about 600 boats, too. Why am I doing this? All I need is a little more war score. I'm winning naval battles, I'm winning land battles, but uh, generally happening in this region right here, and I'm continuing the siege on Portugal here. Okay, just beat them up over here, and they're finally willing to accept, man. This was such an annoying war, boys. My armies are significantly weaker than them, man. Their western tech and stuff like that. That's done. The only thing we need for this campaign to be a success is this stupid freaking province right here, the Comoros. And then this one right here, the Andamans. They're still allied, man. They're still... At least France would come in. Frick it, let's do it live. <laughs> oh, actually, this was a good thing. The Ottomans are over here, man. I can, uh... I can try and swamp them before they, uh, you know. Okay, so I just bombed this fort right here. They've ended their war with the Commonwealth. It kind of soothes me that France is on my side. They're honestly pretty powerful. Obviously, it's France. They got quality and offensive French ideas. A massive army. Uh, but the Ottomans, man, they got 450,000 troops, dogs. There's no way we can piece them out. Ugh. We just gotta be faster. I don't have enough uh, men to barrage forts or to assault, sorry. But meanwhile, yeah, I did siege down the Comoros. And look, AI is upgrading forts, man. This is a level 6 fort right here in El Karak. Apparently, that's the only one. <laughs> My armies are weaker. I'm losing battles. How much war score do you need for this, man? Frick. I need at least 10, obviously. We don't need that much. I just need France to do a lot more. That's the thing. France is actually doing a really good job here. They're winning lots of battles and they've sieged down a couple of forts already. Meanwhile, I gotta resort to attacking 30k troops with 150k. Which I guess is working out. I don't know. But yeah, the stack will beat me. <laughs> yeah, look at France, man. Absolutely crushing it. Look. I wonder if we can piece out the Ottomans that are medium. We can. That's it. We've just won this war. <laughs> there we go, man. They'll accept probably. Yeah, yeah, they will. I just won two provinces. That's it. They will give it to me. We're actually done, boys. We're actually done. We own all, literally every single province in Zanzibar, the Gulf of Aden, Hormuz, Gujarat, and Coromandel. And we've confirmed Thalassocracy. We are a Thalassocracy. That's it. We're done. We're done. Well, this was a tiring campaign. I'll give it that. And I'm not even waiting to core anything up or anything like that. I just want to be done with it, boys. But uh, yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Oman. And I think these three provinces right here and our goal for this challenge was uh, to conquer the entirety of Hormuz, Gulf of Aden, Zanzibar, Gujarat, and Coromandel trade nodes. Only that, nothing outside of them. And of course, to take the decision to uh, confirm Thalassocracy and actually become Thalassocracy. Let's say those were the three goals. And after almost 200 years of gameplay, we're just about a year and a month short this campaign is a success but yeah start off pretty standard right here allied the ottomans and it was just a slow and steady expansion you know after we gobbled up uh this region right here i can honestly say the biggest slog was in india over here and of course i do think i made a mistake by not taking exploration or expansion man and just colonizing these provinces right here I don't know why I thought we could get everything done before these could get colonized. Look at how early Australia has been formed. You know, the AI doesn't usually go for that that early. But uh, yeah, colonization is pretty much done. Aside from that, a very nice and very fun campaign. It was just a little bit tedious. Went with uh, quality religious naval trade quantity. Obviously had to take one of naval or maritime to embrace that decision. Almost got all of the missions done. Man, you never really do any of these missions as any nation pretty much. Very nice government reforms. Making a ton of money as we can see. Obviously would be making a lot more if we uh, weren't just out of a war or something like that manpower even though it's so massive it was kind of a problem the entirety of the campaign i was always wasting so much and stuff like that uh i had these boys since the start shout out dawasir hasa and ajran too i guess 
else. But uh, yeah, pretty fun campaign, Oman Man, a nation with probably the best naval focused, trade focused, uh, national ideas in the game, and a very fun playthrough. Maybe if you don't go this big, or maybe if you don't try and do it as fast as I did, but uh, take it a little more slowly and a little more methodically. These are all my states. No trade companies whatsoever, even for a, such a heavy focused uh, trade nation. Uh, stated up almost everything. But uh, yeah, pretty fun if it uh, didn't take me that long. But honestly, I'm not looking forward to doing something this long again. You boys know I don't really enjoy playing such massive countries where you have to move your troops from one province to another and it takes so long, you know, utilizing navies so heavily. And uh, listen, a, a world conquest is coming up in season O. It's not Ryukyu, obviously. I, I said this last video too. I'm doing a world conquest in season O and everyone was like, it's Ryukyu. No, Ryukyu season R. I'm not doing a world conquest as Ryukyu. I'm not doing the three mountains. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. I'm doing it in season O as the, as the autumn. I don't know how we're going to do that. But uh, enough molding. It's time to wrap it up. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Oman in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Oman in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.